just quads on today's agenda. It's gonna be nice. I haven't done a just quad day in a bit. I'm switching up the program a little bit. I got a different gym I'm going to, so I'll be doing like chest and hamstrings and then arms in one gym, and then back and quads in this gym. Starting off with pendulum squats, quad extensions, then single leg leg press. I'll walk you guys through it. Now, blow up these legs. Happy Halloween, by the way. Let's do it. A pendulum squat is humbling. I was supposed to get 175 for 12, but I loaded up 190 by accident and I got six. And then I got off, I was like, what the heck? I looked at it, did the math again. And yeah, so 190 for like six, then 170. Pendulum squats done. Now on to quad extensions. I'm currently fighting the urge not to puke. Oh man. Hey. So quad extensions, three sets here. The leg press. I've been doing single leg leg press. Um, I was talking to my friend the other day, and he was like, "Why don't you try single leg, bro? We'll totally see which leg's stronger than the other." which leg stronger than the other, whatever. And I tried it and I was like, oh, my left leg is a lot weaker than my right leg. Not a lot, but like, it's noticeable. It must be weaker than my right leg. And my right leg is supposed to be my bad leg. So we're doing single leg now, I'm trying to even that out. That might be why I've been having like some left hip pain. And it's been doing better since I've been doing single leg. So we'll try that and see how it goes. When you're doing those quad extensions, I try to feel them like right at the top of my, my hip, like right where the quad starts going into your hip. This is where I try to squeeze. I'm gonna kill her. They're, they're hard. I'm sorry, I would talk more, but I am fighting. Throw it up. So bad.
that's how I do it. You see here, it's got like a pin thing for either single or double. And yeah, I thought single leg leg press was goofy until I tried it. And I realized it showed a vulnerability that I had. It was probably causing me some type of pain in my lower left back. Now that I'm doing it, I feel it in my legs a lot more. And you know, you can like load this up with two legs because you're not only using your legs, you're using your hips, you're using your internal breathing to create pressure to push. So with this, you can't really do that that well with one leg. So it kind of makes it harder with less weight, which is good. And I, I just like it. So we're gonna rock the single leg for a while. That'll cook you up right after your final set of leg press, body weight squats. Feel elevated. Oh. And again, when you're doing single arm, single leg, anything, do your weaker one first. My left leg is weaker. My left leg is weaker. So we do that first. Then we kind of just match with my right one. Like 12 reps to failure is to failure with my left leg. With my right leg, it got like three or four more. We're gonna keep playing that game. Catch up with my left leg until I can go to failure with both. And that does work. You now that's how I was with my arms, like my triceps and my lats for the longest time because of sports. Like you know, basketball is one-sided. You shoot one-sided. You can kind of develop imbalances that way. But once you stop doing that, and train right, you can you can work that stuff. They didn't care who I was till I put on the mask. Yeah. Surprise! It's not Bane. It's actually it's actually Rude Boy Lifts. 